What is better when you're measuring run out in a new rotor? Two lug nuts or five? We're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit the bcahub.com for more information. Anytime that you're installing a new brake rotor on a vehicle, you need to be measuring the run out in the flange and also the rotor when it's installed. But there's some variations to a couple rules here. Whenever you're installing a brand new brake rotor on a vehicle, even if there's no pulsation or problem reported, you need to be checking for runout in that rotor. When you're checking for runout, I've seen it done a couple different ways. You can do it with two lug nuts, three lug nuts, but the best way to do it is with four lug nuts or five lug nuts torqued to the proper specification for the vehicle and then measuring runout. By using fewer lug nuts, you could actually be giving yourself misleading readouts when it comes to run out. Maybe there might be too much or too little run out that it's actually measuring. The way to accurately measure it was with five lug nuts. So the next time that you're installing a rotor on a vehicle, try it. Try just two lug nuts, three lug nuts, four lug nuts, and even five, and see the different readings that you may be getting. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.